New York was the largest city in the world in 1940, the busiest harbor in the world. Right here at Fort Wadsworth, which was for a long time the oldest continuously operated post of the United States Army, in 1941, this was the Harbor Control Command Post. With the attack on Pearl Harbor, this particular site becomes even more important because this is gonna be the nerve center of essentially the launching of American men and materiel to Europe. In World War II, this facility, what's known as the New York Naval Shipyard, but known colloquially as the Brooklyn Navy Yard, was one of the biggest industrial facilities in the world with more than 70,000 people working in this little area 24-7, building so many ships. I mean, it could be said it was the largest Navy operation in the world, certainly one of the largest. A dry dock of this size in World War II would have been working on half a dozen ships at the same time. They come in, they float in, and then they pump the water out, and the ships then rest on blocks so that workers can come around the side and have access to every part of the ship. And of course, it's the same concrete, the same dry dock that was here where all these uh, important events took place and great ships were built. Behind me is what was once the largest warehouse in the world, the Brooklyn Army Terminal. Seems really kind of quiet today, but it would have been totally different during World War II. Now, this was the headquarters of the New York Port of Embarkation, but it really involved 10 different terminals. This was the largest, operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with huge internal open spaces, elevators moving the equipment around, trains being able to come into the buildings, more than 50,000, almost 60,000 people working just in the operations to load equipment. The entire harbor was an anthill of activity. Well, I'm standing here on the base commander's observation post in Fort Hamilton in the southwestern corner of Brooklyn. You're looking at the Narrows, the entrance to the harbor. So if we were standing here in 1943 or 1944, we would have seen a parade of ships, warships, troop ships, transport ships, all sorts of vessels coming in and out of the harbor. They would have been submarine nets. We wouldn't always see them, Coast Guard vessels farther out. But this would have been a, a key place just because of its location on the harbor. Fort Hamilton, which was established in the 1830s and still operating today, alone of all those dozens of military installations that were all around the metropolitan region in World War II. And here it is still in our time, um, proudly standing as the last outpost of the United States Army in New York City.